Hello, welcome to the second video, where we're going to talk about the supply and demand curve, which is probably one of the most important things to understand in all of econ. Just let's look, before we look at this curve right here, let's do a quick revision. What is supply and what is demand? Supply is basically the idea of what the total amount of things that are being produced of a particular kind or produced are being made by companies, by shops and whatnot. Demand is basically the idea of how much is being wanted or how much is being consumed by all of us collectively. So right today in this curve, we look at the supply and demand for chocolate bars. But before we go into that, let's just look at what all these things mean. On the x-axis, and this is what we call the x-axis here. This is the x-axis. We can give this name here. This is what we call the x-axis. We see this thing called quantity that's labeled. And as we go up the x-axis, we see that the quantity is being increased. So the quantity supplied is being increased. The quantity demanded is being increased. On the y-axis, and this is what we call the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal one, the one that's flat. The vertical axis, the y-axis is the vertical y-axis. We see we have price, which basically means that as we go up the y-axis, price goes up. We have this thing called the S line and the D line. As price goes up, the S line, we see the S line goes up as the price goes up. As the price goes up, as the price, as the price goes up, we see that the S line increases in quantity, it increases from 100 to 600. But as the price goes up, the D line, the completely different, the opposite things happen. Opposite things happen. Where as price goes down, the D curve increases. What do those things mean? The sub S line basically means the supply curve and the D line basically means the demand curve. Why might this be the case? Why does supply increase as price goes up? And why does demand increase as prices go down? Because the opposite thing happening, right? Demand can increase as price goes down because as prices are lower for chocolate bars, we want more chocolate bars. And that's just human psychology. That's how we think. Lower prices means we want it more. But why, do, why does supply go up as prices increase? If you are a company or if you're an individual making chocolate bars, a higher price means you'll make a greater profit. That means at higher prices, you're willing to produce or you're willing to make more chocolate bars. That's why as prices go up, supply goes up. But as sub prices go up, demand goes down because you don't want to buy more of it. As prices are increasing, you can't afford it. You don't. You want to spend that money on something else, what not. The line at which supply and demand intersects where we see that the amount that is supplied is equal to the amount that is being demanded is what we call the equilibrium price. The equilibrium price here is a dollar and 20 cents. The equilibrium quantity, this is what we call the equilibrium quantity is called a 300, is called, is a 300 quantity here. This is the optimal and this is the point at which we should be producing and demanding because that is the point at which supply and demand is equal. That means if you were to set a price for chocolate bars, you should set it at $1.20. This is the equilibrium price. This is the price at which supply and demand are equal. And that's the good price for society to have chocolate bars at. That's a good thing for now. As we go on from this, however, we're going to see cases in which equilibrium price and point doesn't necessarily be the same. And that can happen for a bunch of reasons. Like if we go into the next slide, we will see that if you look at this, if you, if you take a look at this slide, right? You will see that the, there is this thing called a shortage. What is a shortage? If you take the price to be P1, you'll notice that P1 is not the equilibrium price here, right? P1 is a different price. What is the equilibrium price? If we remember the equilibrium price, is when the equilibrium price is when the P in is when the supply and demand are equal. Here, supply and demand aren't equal. And because that is the case, we see that there is this thing called a shortage. Why is there a shortage? Because demand is higher than supply at this price. Demand is quantity two, but supply is only quantity one. And the difference 
between quantity two and quantity one is what we call a shortage. A similar principle applies here where we have a surplus, but it's the opposite problem where the quantity, this is the S curve, remember? The supply curve that goes up, the supply is at quantity two, but the demand is at quantity one. That means there is an extra amount of those goods in the market. That's not necessarily a good thing because we are having a surplus. It's not what we call efficient. The way of thinking about this is, is a socially, the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity is the efficient point of production. It's where we want to be producing. And if you have a shortage or a surplus, neither of those things are necessarily a good thing. And that's how we end up at just looking at the basic supply and demand curve. It look, might look simple, but there is a lot of interesting theory and logic behind it that's important to understand.